Hello everyone, welcome to the video on brain anatomy. In this video, I will explain various parts of brain, cranial bones, meninges, blood brain barrier and cerebrospinal fluid. Now, let us simplify the things. See, in various textbooks, there are a lot of complicated anatomical uh, parts are given regarding brain. I have referred part or a book. For further reference, you please refer the textbook. Now, brain is grossly divided into four parts. Brain stem, diencephalon, cerebellum and cerebral cortex. Now, let me explain one by one. Now, brain stem is continuous with spinal cord. It appears like a stem, hence it is called as brain stem. In the brain stem, you have you have got parts like midbrain, pons and medulla oblongata. So this is about brain stem. Now to the posterior of the brain stem, brain stem will be like this and to the posterior you have cerebellum is there. Cerebellum appears like brain hence it is also called as a small brain. Now to the superior to this brain stem you have diencephalon is there. In the diencephalon we have thalamus, epithalamus and hypothalamus parts are there. And all of these are surrounded by cerebral cortex. Cerebral cortex is the largest part of the brain, which is on the top of our head, cerebral cortex. So these are the four major parts, brain stem, cerebellum, uh, diencephalon, and then cerebral cortex. Now, leaving this, brain is protected by certain bones. They are known as cranial bones. There are eight cranial bones are there. The number is important, eight cranial bones. Now, let us see the bones. There is one sphenoid bone is there. Sphenoid bone will be here. S-P-H-E-N-Y-D. Another ethmoid bone is there. Ethmoid bone is at here, at the end of the nose. One sphenoid, one ethmoid, one frontal bone is there. This is called as frontal bone. Two parietal bones are there. This part, two parietal bones are there. And two temporal bones are there. And one occipital bone is there. So totally there are eight. One sphenoid, one ethmoid, one frontal, two parietal, two temporal and one occipital. So these are all the cranial bones. So accordingly, brain is divided into lobes. This is frontal lobe, this is parietal lobe, temporal lobe and occipital lobe. So these are all cranial bones. Now after that, brain is also surrounded with layers, membranes. They are called as meninges. Meninges is made up of three layers. Dura matter, arachnoid matter, pia matter. From the top, it is dura matter. In between, arachnoid matter. Pia matter is very close to brain. Now, there, is, there are certain spaces between these membranes. Between dura matter and arachnoid matter, there is a space known as uh, subdural space. Whereas between arachnoid and pia matter, there is a space known as subarachnoid space. Now, this subarachnoid space is important because through which cerebrospinal fluid goes around, in and around the brain and spinal cord, subarachnoid space. Now, understand one more thing. See, dura matter is, is attached to the external cranial bone. There is no space between dura mater and bone in the brain. Whereas when it gets into spinal cord, there is a small space between dura mater and this bone. And this space is known as epidural space. Understand this epidural space is only present in spinal cord. During deliveries, pregnant women are given anesthesia and that is called as epidural anesthesia. The space between dura mater and the bone. To that space, spinal anesthetic is given. That is epidural space. Leaving that, you have cerebrospinal fluid is there. Now, cerebrospinal fluid circulates through the spinal cord and the brain chambers. Now, the major job of this cerebrospinal fluid is it gives a mechanical protection and it transports all the nutrients and fluids. Usually, it contains glucose, lactic acid, urea, proteins, cations, anions and some white blood cells. So, the major function is to protect from uh, mechanical uh, agitation. Now, the next one is blood-brain barrier. Now see, this is important because whatever the things are there in the blood will not get into the brain. Brain is protected. In normal blood vessel, the basement membrane of the blood vessel is made up of endothelial cells. When you see in normal blood vessels, the endothelial cells, there are certain gaps are there between a cell, endothelial cell and endothelial cell. Through the gap, certain solutes will pass through the cells. In case of brain, these endothelial cells are tightly closed. A tight endothelial cell is there. Along with that, you have another cells called as pericytes and astrocytes. These pericytes and astrocytes will again surround this endothelial cell to, to seal the further leakage. And again, it is protected by astrocyte foot endings. Astrocytes will cover all these blood cells. So, blood-brain barrier is made up of all these three things. A tight endothelial cells which are surrounded with pericytes as well as astrocytes. The reason is whatever is there in the blood should not get into the brain because brain is a sensitive organ. So only glucose, oxygen kind of things will be transported to the brain with the help of certain transport proteins. Remaining things are completely sealed off. So this is called as blood-brain barrier. 
So this is about brain anatomy. In the next class, I will explain about physiology of the brain. Thank you for watching this video.